Good evening and welcome to the final match for tonight from the convention centre here in beautiful San Juan. It's Francisco Sanchez Ruiz against Chang Jun Lin. Shaking hands. Everything on the line here. Bagging off. Lag that is from Sanchez Ruiz. Slightly different now. It's the best of three sets, first to two. And joined in the commentary booth. Slight change of plan, everything's up to change here today. It's a crazy day. We have Tim De Reuter. Hello, Tim. Made a couple of balls there, Tim, on the break. One in either side pocket. A look at the two ball, looking quite good here. Yeah, just the position on the three could be a big challenge in this. Don't feel like he can hold the cube on the two, so cut the two and go four rails around for the three. Or is he going to be able to draw himself really, really soft? Is he to kill the cue ball? Did he still have the cut? Yeah, I think he has. Well, he's always had the bank in case he can't cut it. Maybe where the... Looks better from that angle, Tim. It's still a cut. It's, it's so tempting to just play the bank. A quite solid hit on the three. Was fine on the cut. Now the nine is all right. Great opening rack after the break was wide open. And wasn't this part of his success? A year or so ago, you know, when he was breaking better than anyone, he mastered the break, didn't he? And won so many titles in that time. Yeah, yeah if you the eight ball here last year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. World eight ball, his break was so, so perfect. Playing hand rack, he was still breaking, making a ball on the break every rack, almost just. Finished, I think, a little bit straight on this seven ball. Okay. Yeah, a little straighter on the eight. Not saying he will not be able to move over to the short side of the nine, but needs to cheat the pocket. We were due to have the winner of Shane Van Boney on this table, but that match is still going on. It's 1 1 with Xiao Grillo at the moment, Portuguese guy. And Grillo is 2-1 up, actually, in the third set. Yeah, also one of the underestimated players on the tour. He's been having good results this year. I also heard something that he quit his job to play pool full-time. So he's now also going to the gym and trying to eat well and really change his lifestyle. Looks to be working. If I go to the gym and start eating properly, do you think I'll be a good pool player? <laughs> You have to be a good pool player before you start going uh, to do it, yeah. Okay, I won't bother then. I'll just carry on with the lifestyle I've got. <laughs> uh, there's lots of other games in action at the moment, guys. Uh, Phil Burford, who had such a great run, beating Robbie Capito and Albin Ocean, is finally out. He got beaten by Dennis Grabet from Estonia earlier on tonight. Mario, he embroiled in a big battle over on table number two if you want to catch up that that's on uh, sorry on youtube also so breaking off sanchez ruiz is it going to be dry yeah looks like it and look at that shot on one ball for chang jun lin well just the average spread is really nice well he capitalized on that great spread in the first rack but this time i feel 
Cheng's going to like this layout. Quietly goes about his business, doesn't he? Chang always seems to be there or thereabouts in the deep here at end of tournaments. Might have to play a couple strong positions around the 5-6. If he gets straight on the 5 ball to any corner, then should be fine. Now stun left, center ball with some left spin to go one reel towards the four. Small angle towards the five, I think, on this four ball. Could also go to the short side for the five in the bottom right. In case he has too much angle, if he can hold the cue ball, he can shoot the five in the top left corner in this view. Oh, he tried to stun out. He came up too short. Might now have to play for the 6-7 combo. It's either that or... Just have a look yeah. at the team. Just, there is no, I was going to say maybe go just past the side with spin to come back, but I think he has to float it in and shoot the 6-7 combo. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. It's almost guaranteed to be on the six ball after. Can even nudge the eight a bit. Six is always gonna move a little bit to the top left corner. Nice control. Knew exactly what was gonna happen there. Last player, Chang Jung Lin, world champion, of course. 38 years old now, Tim. Still a spring chicken. Yeah, also one of these kind of guys that can play for hours. Like, just keeps going. I know he plays many practice sets with Aloysius Yap, and they just they keep playing. Like sometimes four or five sets in a row. It's pretty impressive, you know. Some pool players, they're after two hours, they go, well, I'm hungry. I want to go take a nap. You know, like this. Right. Not this guy. They're hungry for more pool. Yeah. They want to, don't want to, they'd rather take a yap than a nap. So a perfect rack here from Chang Jun Lin. Evens things up. 1-1, one, one, he will be breaking. It is win-a-break format. <laughs> yeah, the teams earlier on, USA had another great win. 3-0 over Spain. That's a really good result, isn't it? They're looking very strong, Tim, for the teams. Yeah, maybe a little unexpected. Most of the people are maybe not so familiar with April Larson and more with Mighty Ropero. As the women also play a big part in in these team events. Just mentioned Aloysius Yap. He lost the first set against Joven Bustamonte. He's won the second to even it up. He's 2-0 down in the third set. is in action Just Carlo Biardo great break here really hit it well quite head on not perfect of course but so many balls moving just nothing found in the pocket so 
until now they've been sharing the <laughs> wrecks a little bit. Dry break one side, or oh, break a run, then dry break. The other guy runs out, dry break. What's he going to do here, Tim? Do you think? Obviously, a safety. Where's he putting the cue ball? Over behind the eight, maybe? Trying to have a look at the table, the eight. The eight is a pretty big ball to get behind. He could go aggressive to go for the cut because the two is playing pretty nice for the side pocket. Would understand if he says, well, maybe I just, I'll wait. He's called 30 second extension, just have a, a little longer to think about this. It's also laying a little, a little weird, like there's no obvious shots. So is he gonna, Come the other way. Surprised me a little bit there. There wasn't really any cover. Yeah, he was going to try and get the one behind the 2 3, but on the other side, he also knew that he was never going to give a shot on the one because of where the eight is. Yeah. Gotcha. So he was never going to sell out. And it's sometimes it's a strategy too. You cannot always play the perfect hook. Sometimes you just got to hang in there. players now have used their one extension that they're allowed per rack which is 30 seconds oh he's got the dreaded double kiss so this is a chance then for Ruiz that safety shot or the you know, the safety rather than the hook, Tim, paid dividends. Yeah, again, the shot actually turned out to be in an awkward position. He didn't really know what to do, tried to just barely squeeze by, caught the double kiss, and because they both are breaking with a lot of energy, the balls are spread really nice again. Let's see if he can play either the... Yeah, I think he's going to play the two in the corner, get straight on the three. From there, has to go f from the four up table and then from the five down table, so some traveling to do. And this is for placing the quarterfinals, of course, the last 16 match. Finalists guaranteed $1,375. Not bad. <laughs> Good money. The loser here was well, it's worth 2188 Nice holiday in Puerto Rico. It'll pay for something, won't it? That's for sure. Get you a few Medaya lights, that's for sure. Let's see. He's feeling good too. He's playing with fast pace, moving quickly around the table. These kind of layouts, they get you in stroke as well. Like they make you feel good. Every time you earn that first shot, you feel like, well, it's just a couple up and down shots. Why not? You know, That's the good thing about the, the powerful break, isn't it? As you said, get a good spread on the ball. So if yeah. you don't make a ball, your opponent comes in and does what Sanchez Ruiz has just done in no time. We've had three racks already. Spaniard leads two to one. Dos uno. And I thought I didn't speak any other languages than English, Tim. How many languages do you speak? Well, depending on how fluently you want me to speak them, but I know some Spanish, some French, and then German, English, Dutch. You just speak English, right? And rubbish. 
Great. OK. <laughs> I speak a little bit of Estonian, actually. I lived there for eight years. I mean, I've forgotten most of it now, but I'm sure I could still count to ten in Estonian. I think I can count to four in, Greece, in Greek, but that's it. <laughs> Yeah, difficult languages. We have too many of them in Europe. Let's go back. Oh, he hit oh. this so square. Seven is going to go. That was the one ball. One ball was on its way. Just got kicked away, didn't it? The last second of one. Good break once again. Just don't think he's got a shot on the one. That nine ball is spoiling the party here. Very limited options. It was the, was the best thing he could do, really. Of course, he, he got the hook, so it's still a decent shot, but he was always going to look for something easier. Straight out. The jump stick, is he? Did he call? Yeah, it's called the six ball. And then bank the one ball twice the short reel and hopefully come back up for another shot. Might even end up with a, a 110 combo, you never know. Well, not the thick and the good thing for Chang is the two ball is pretty much locked. I don't think there's a to eight combo the eight looks like it's really close to the side pocket point and the two for sure doesn't go in the top left corner so let's go in this corner if he can get to it can he get to it off two rails he'll have to f really pound the cue ball off the rail yeah i think he was going to play a safety he was it's called the eight so it does go he can see it he had a really close look at it didn't he it obviously goes, he's called it. Well, and then also, how is he going to end up on the two? Must be really soft. Yeah, I didn't feel like he was going to get something after. He always had to cut the eight ball more to the right. Now, is he going to just thin the two ball and trying to hold it behind the five? Get to the short rail? Just really thin contact. On the left side. Or is he... He might be looking at doing something with the 10. 10 is over the bucket. Yeah, draw off the... The 2 onto the 10. But it is very risky. If he plays the carom on the 10, he has to make it or he's for sure going to lose the game. Like, the 2 ball is most likely to end up in he's the open. It, he's called it. So 10 in the side in this format. Early 10s do count. No. No, it's not there. And the two. There's the two nine. Yeah, he's, he's got to go on the two nine here. Can try to play it very soft to hold the two ball in front of the same corner. So he's going to shoot the nine. Or he can play and punch the cue ball to send the two ball over to the right corner pocket. Oh, wow, that surprised me. He tried to hold it. I expected him actually to shoot it firm because he usually likes to play full stroke and just cut the nine here too much. Now the carom on the nine. Paul possibly sending the two ball. A little nudge on the 10, it's got perfect on the 2. Mario, he has beaten Viktor Zelensky by two sets to one. We were talking about him, weren't we, Tim, before we started this commentary. Just tell us a little bit what you think about Mario. I mean, we all know what he's capable of. He's had good results in the past, but never had his moment of fame, basically. I think he's very underrated, and he can even he can walk into a huge room with 1,000 pool players and 
half of them don't even know him. And I think it's very impressive because if you look at the quality of play, there's no department in the game he yeah, he sucks at. Like he, he really plays all parts right. And yeah, I think it's just a matter of time. Anders are very rare though, aren't they? Yeah. Well, he's a very rare guy too. Very quiet. I'm assuming guy, as we see Sanchez Ruiz get to the hill. 3-1. Landon Hollingsworth is doing very well in this. A youngster from the USA. Yeah, so Sanchez Ruiz on the hill. 3-1 little back and forth in this rack first three racks were most of them just run out Another big break. One ball goes in. And look at how the two ball ends up. Look at oh, every ball, Tim. This is an excellent chance. I think he, the only shot is to get from the two to the three. From the two to the three and then stay in line. Make sure you play the easy angles. Does he have to run into the four and take a longer three ball? Maybe push the four over the left bottom corner pocket. It's now queuing over the four. Not ideal, but we'll take it. Just one longer shot, I said. Afterwards, the four, five, six are all pretty nearby. run has come to an end beaten by the Italian here from Casco Garcia two straight sets good run though for the youngster good bit of experience for him Tim yeah had his first huge win on the professional tour he beaten Alice Kazakis earlier on the day in a shootout which is a very huge win for the I think he's 19 20 years old is a player we will have to look for in the future. Still a couple matches going on. Yeah, we mentioned Shane Van Bonen and Jao Grillo. Shane is now on the hill in the deciding set. 3-2 leading that. I've just looked over. I can see Grillo is at the table. Yeah, if they go three each, they will go to a shootout as well. It would be a big win for Grillo as well. Yeah, that we didn't even have to talk about this layout. It was so open. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz takes the first set for one. Just that fourth rack was a little scrappy from both sides. But a good set from both. Join us for the second in just a, a few minutes' time. Doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This temple to win the title. He is your champion. New world champion.
Germans are the world champions. So everybody welcome back to the Medalla Light Puerto Rico Open here in San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is a last 16 match between Cheng Yun Lin and Francisco Sanchez Ruiz who just won the first set 4-1, pretty decent set. Ended with a couple breaking runs. Like mentioned before, we have a couple last 32 matches still going on. But the last 16 is shaping up very nicely. And at the end of the evening, we will know who's going to be playing in the quarterfinals. Francisco just waiting to oh to get going in the second set of course so we have some scores Tim are we waiting well I was just gonna mention a couple players in the last 16 which I think is very interesting for example Khalid Agamdi has been a good friend of mine Piers Labudis which I think that's Piers should actually be the favorite in that match, but you know, it shows that Khalid is playing good. Uh, also, you said Pierre Francesco Garcia. It's also a name you would maybe not expect to be in the last 16, but has been growing his game a lot. He's lost 30 kilos in seven months, completely changing his lifestyle. And it might show on the pool table. So I'm interested, you know, in these interesting names different names you can't afford to lose any weight <laughs> you don't weigh 70 kilos wet I don't think no no I don't get there okay so nice break from Chang no shot on the twos looking to go a little bit more to the right side and play a safety behind the five nine Stun over a bit. Oh, doesn't, doesn't want to be, be on, on the rail. rail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we both felt the same. <laughs> It'd have been awkward if we just said something different. We wouldn't have understood a word we said. Jacking up. So you will favor him to make this. The safety behind the nine, but... Oh, not if you catch the ten ball. Or has he got cover with the ten? I don't see the jump stick. Yeah, not acknowledging that he got lucky there. A little tap on the table. And... Oh, well, Fran only... Brought his playing cue, so... Surprise, I think I would be jumping this. Jump this, you have a big chance to get the three in the side as well. Guaranteed to be in good shape. Yeah, so he's called a jump shot in the end. Just to watch the shot clock a little bit. Lost some time walking back and forth. Close and how is this shaping up? Oh, what a row! It's his turn to hold the hand up. 
really tough to not get frustrated when you get these kind of rolls sometimes. It's a game of pool. Very tough to handle at times. Yeah, like now, trying to kick two rails, the seven is blocking most of it, and the three is also not great. There's not really much more. Can he push some balls together, maybe? I don't think there's... I don't really see any escapes. Does he have to go play it more to the left side of the top short rail and then with a lot of spin and then make the angle? I think he's gonna try and tie something up. Three together with the seven. we had cameras in the booth right now. Tim's face is a picture. He knows what's coming. I'm going to try out my D on you. Tough position on the three. Very small area. One rail over. The good thing is, I was always going to have a pretty good angle getting to the four. And he had ball in hand to do it as well. Pretty fortunate for Sanchez Ruiz to leave that, that safety by accident. Quite unlucky for Chang. Was no other way to defend himself on that shot. Can he play five short side Tim, or can he get back up? Has he got enough angle to get back up? I think he could still draw himself out of there if he wants to. I don't like the short side just because of where the nine is. If you end up a little bit too straight or a small angle, you won't be able to go forward for the six ball anymore. I like if you can stun, you still stun. If, yeah, I like this. Played it beautifully, hasn't it? Six doesn't go in the top right, so we'll have to play another good draw shot. Six in the side or possibly top uh, bottom right corner. A little bit straight to go forward, two rails. That was going to be my next question. Can you go forward two rails? Oh, look at the draw he got on that. He caught the nine as well. It's gone a little bit Ooh. wrong. This is now very awkward. That straight on the rail. Won't be able to put a decent full stroke on this because he would lose the cue ball. Very sensitive. It's not there. So after such a big roll, he didn't clear up and Chang will get to the table. But what did he get? A very, very tough cut in the side even if he has it because he could be maybe too close I think he has it three rails around the 9-10 should be happy to be at the table anyways won't complain getting anything nice done. good shot just a little straight on the 7 so we'll need another good shot so I think he's gonna draw to the short side of the nine for nine in the bottom right or the nine in the side bucket. Don't think there is a nine ten combo, otherwise he would stop the cue ball right there and just shoot the combo. For those of you hungry for some more action, Josh Villa will be in action on table two and he's waiting for the winner. The Shane Van Boney and Jao Grillo match. It's a real Moscone Cup precursor, that one, isn't it? A prequel. Can we all 
short for this nine. It's not a good shot. Low right. Yeah, perfect on the nine. Uh, on the ten ball, excuse me. Perfect shot on the nine. And great on the ten. In the shootout, Shane Van Boney and Jao Grillo. All the tables are available on kazoom.com. Go there, register. And find out how to watch your favourite players. ProBillardSeries.com. Everything you need to know as well is on that particular website. And the Facebook page for Predator also. Fancy a couple of questions, Tim. Come on. Striking women's world nine ball champion from Scandinavia in 1994. I'll give you the country, Sweden. Sweden. Striking was a very, very good clue as well. The striking Viking. You're too young. You're a yeah, I'm, I'm going to say I'm from 96. What do you, what do you expect? <laughs> oh, nine ball flying in the corner. What is he going to get on the one? I don't think he's going to get on the one. The answer is Ava Lawrence. Oh, yeah, I Striking. know that name. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> but one of my favorite nicknames as well. What a great and striking fight, isn't it? Not out of the woods yet. I've got two more questions for you, and stop looking at the answers. <laughs> You're like a little child. It's called the uh, two rails and the one. So did he? Did he call the straight back on the one? Just goes in the side. Oh, does it? Oh, it might just that extra little roll. But as a safety on here. Getting right in. Yeah, if the one doesn't go in the side, he can roll up on the eight. Or even the shoot the one into the eight and stun the cubo behind the six as well, in between the rail and the six. Yeah, I mean, it's so not too impressive. <laughs> Just catch the right side of the one, create some distance. Very, very close to it, not close enough, ball in hand. Francisco is playing. David Alcady is never far away if he's not playing himself. David is out, of course, beaten by Ralph Suke in an earlier round. They're both trying to hide in the back row. But I've spotted them. Jose, Alberto Delgado, and David Alcady in the back row, keeping an eye on their chum. Big stun of the rail, no other way to get closer to the three. Natural angle on the three, but to go two rails for the four. Plays pretty big angles in general. 5-5 five, five in the shootout, Shane Van Boning and Jao Grillo. That's an update for you. Yeah, it looks like they're still going at it from our little corner here. Nice angle on the six, good speed. Two options, you can play for a straight shot on the seven to draw straight down for the eight, or get to the center of the table and play low right, two rails to get to the eight. Alex Peggy Lyon in a shootout as well with South Korean Ho Jun Kwon. And Alex has missed his first two. He's 2-0 down in that shootout. 
for this one. Nice little bump on the, the temple. Just slide this eight in to level things in the second set. Remember, we're playing best of three sets now in the single el elimination round. And one each. Nicely done. Aloysius Yap also in a shootout with Jovan Bustamonte. And Yap has missed a couple as well. He's 3-1 down in that shootout. Yeah, Jovan has been stepping it up lately as well. Not too surprised. Also beat Albin today. I think it was loser qualification round. So he's been playing good lately. Yeah, and he has a full-time job as well, doesn't he, Jovan Bustamonte? He works in a care home. He's a carer. Such a lovely guy. And he's Filipino, of course. And I found out an interesting statistic about Filipinos. 25% of the world's nurses are Filipino. That's huge. Oh, wow, really? That's huge, isn't it? It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people, a lot of caring people. Yeah. Perfect squad of the cue ball. Makes a six, no shot on the one. Could go aggressive to play the bank. Could also cut the one ball to the short rail and create distance. He's called a bank. Yeah, I don't mind it either if he can run the cue ball in between the three and the eight or in between the nine and the eight. There's some insurance. He's made the one and he's got some sh some sort of a shot on the two, but Mika Imminent is out, beaten 2-1 by Hayatu Hijikata. Sullivan Clark also beaten 2-0 straight sets by Conrad Musician. Yeah, tough cut on the two. If he cuts it with the inside, he can possibly get the three. In the side, if he plays with outside, twice the long rail, he might be able to get the three in the bottom left corner, but nothing really easy. Is he going to run into the four? Oh, he played it with inside. And He's missed it. He's hung it up. Oh, how important is that miss? Well, the inside just broke out a little bit too much. Just barely overcut that two ball. Is that the new cloth, Tim, that caused that? Still, it's only three days old, isn't it? Yeah, well, the Arcadia cloth, it does really stay slidey for a longer time. Like, it stays new for a longer period of time. So, but on the other side, they've been playing three days, so they should be adjusted to it, right? And with the experience both players have, I wouldn't really think so. But it, the more spin you play, the more risk you have to miss a shot. That's that's a fact. So I'm guessing if the cloth stays new up for longer, it's a good cloth for room owners, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what it's supposed to be for. Now, nowadays, if you look at so many brands, you don't want to have a cloth that changes after two days of play, like drastically changes. Stop shot here behind the four. I mean, on the other side, there's also people telling me, yeah, in the Philippines, they don't really look, at, they don't even look at the cloth. You know, they just play. <laughs> so, you know, it just depends on what kind of perspective you like to have. One real, probably firm, no, soft. Is he gonna get behind the five? I wasn't expecting this speed. I was expecting a lot more distance on the three. Did he get full cover? No, Chang's got called the top left corner. Xiao Grillo, 10-9 up. 
in the shootout with Shane Van Bonen in the deciding set. Nice shot from Chang. Really needs to step it up a bit, I feel, in this set. I feel that FSR is dominating a little bit too much so far in this Feed, match. Feeding off of Sanchez's mistakes rather than creating his own openings and yeah. running the racks. Well, and he cannot just rely on a couple mistakes from FSR because they're not just going to happen too often. Gauging of the sound we hear in the background, we have a winner just waiting for it to be confirmed. Well, it's 11 10, it says on my scoreboard to Zhao Grillo. Yeah, that would be a very big surprise in the tournament, of course. Well, in the meantime, nice run out from Chang. 2-1. Shane's still going very strong in the teams, of course, as well. Two good wins so far. They beat defending champions yesterday, the Philippines. They beat them. And today, they beat Spain by three sets to zero. Really strong performance. Patiently waiting for referee John Lehman to wreck the balls with the Predator Arrow Wreck. Both guys been breaking really good. Or at least a lot of movement. You know, they are maximizing the, the movement of the balls. I think it's the best I've seen both players breaking in any match I've certainly covered. Yeah. Stream tables. Maybe not always making balls, but as you said, Tim, always open balls. So I can confirm now that Joe Grillo has he beaten... Has, he has beaten Shane Van Boning by two sets to one in a shootout. So it's teams all the way for Shane Van Boning, and that's bad news for the other teams in the tournament, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, he gets more rest now. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Sanchez is at the table. Could opt to play the cue ball behind the five, which is tricky. Could roll up on the three, but then where is he going to leave the one? Could go offensive and play the one-eight combination. Just top spin, bump the three out just softly. But then he also has to make sure to get angled to get to the top side of the table for the two. And that might be the reason why he didn't shoot the one-eight combo yet. I think he really wants to, doesn't he? He's just seeing if he can get away with the angle. He could also thin the one and bring the cue ball behind the two, for example. Like, there is other options. But he's a very offensive player. and He's gone aggressive and it's worked out. Has, it, has he got a little bit of an angle? Can he steal a bit there, Tim? I don't think he can get to the two unless he's going to put a very big stroke on this. This was the risk. But we know he's got huge cue power. He's looking at drawing this. Yeah, drawing, drawing with a lot of... Rails. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not even sure if he can get to it, though. Really. He's probably going to go towards the top right corner scratch. Look at this for a shot. Look at this it's for a, a little much. shot. Oh, unlucky. Just a little bit thick on that nine ball. 
So it will be Josh Filler against Xiao Grillo on table one for you. Oh, sorry, table two, guys, if you want to hop over to that one. But wait until this one's finished. They're not starting quite yet. Yeah, not a successful safety at all. Perfect chance for Chang to get the 3-1 on the board. Two rails here on the two, twice the short rail. A little bit much spin. Is he going to tie the five? At least tie the five with the 10. Oh, he's not going to be happy here. Yeah, just put a drip too much right spin on that. And close the rack by doing so. What's he going to do about the 5-10? Bank it, maybe? Is it bank or is it too close to that side rail? I think he's touching the rail, isn't it? He needs to try and move it, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm guessing he's just going to cut the foreign and play a stop shot behind the 10, sending the 5 ball away. I'd... He's got such a big cut on the 4, and then to play this with a lot of inside, I think... You're just dangerous. Trying to make you miss a shot somewhere. <laughs> oh, he has oh, played away inside. Just how clay He just wanted the finish of contact, didn't he? Just to nudge that fight. A away. And anything on that tempo, and he would have been fine, really. Any disrespect to Zhao Grillo, I'm sure Joshua Phillip was getting ready to come up against Shane Van Boning there. And I'm not saying he be relieved it's not Shane Van Boning, but after going three sets, shootout that went so far, 11 10 it went to. Well, he's for sure going to be. A little bit low in energy because that's going to be costing a lot of energy and he has to immediately go to the next table and start playing so i hope he has a couple energy bars or something in this case we'll be glad he lost those 30 kilos that's for sure that's not the same guy oh is he not <laughs> no, no no this is a portuguese oh. guy he's the italian guy oh i'm sorry <laughs> but this one also goes to the gym so he looks pretty yeah. good as well <laughs> Now it's it's a it's happening lately. Many players are starting to change their lifestyle completely. That's why the the level is just so high. Everybody's feeling so in shape and fit and sharp. And because long yeah. days you need to be, don't you? Yeah, it's just the small percentages really save you. Um, Dennis Grabet is just setting out against Mario He, who hasn't long finished on the other table against Viktor Zelensky. He's in action now. Fedor's taken, uh, sorry, Dennis has taken the first rack there. Fedor has taken the first set against Carlo Biardo, against the defending champion. Yeah, 4-0 for a set. On yeah. fire. Another player most of the people don't know, and is in the last 16, is Michael Ugaard. From Denmark, I believe it's them. Yeah, I think it's Denmark. I'm starting to doubt myself. Could be Norway. It's Norway. It's Norway. Yeah. Which is has been on, has been away from the game for a long time. Actually, he's been. I haven't seen him in maybe six, seven years. And then now suddenly he started to play back again. He's now starting to travel more. I just think that players now that gave it up for a little while maybe saw no future in Paul. Now they're seeing all these big tournaments and big prize money coming into they're thinking, hang on a minute, it's worth getting my cues out again. Yeah, and that's why the average level is also becoming even higher than it was before. Back to the game. Chang Jun Lin with his 10 ball will be on the hill himself to square things up, hopefully. In sets. Sanchez Ruiz winning the first one. This man well on the way to winning the second. Yeah, this man right here does not have any give up. 
There's a lot of players actually scared of <laughs> Chang Yulin because he just... They feel he doesn't really break down that fast, you know? It's just he really wears you down mentally. Yeah, I mean, if you're a player sat opposite him and you're looking for some kind of reaction to see how he's feeling, you have never, ever... No chance. ...any expression on his face whatsoever. Yeah, that's, that's one of his strengths, you know? Yeah. He just stays calm, mentally very strong, and... So just, much experience, too. Just want to know what he's thinking, what goes through his head. I guess we'll never find out. Let's see how this break is. Nine oh, and the one is gonna. There's a fight. One five is on Tim if he wants it. He just has to make a plan. What kind of speed is he gonna hit it, and where's the one gonna go? Could shoot the one off the four into the five, or could shoot the one into the five and then into the eight to let it come out? I think he just looked at your first option there, playing it off the four into the five and his choice is really just going to depend on what he thinks he's going to get after so i feel if he shoots the one into the four into the five then the cue ball is not going to stay there it's going to move to the right so i think he might have to shoot the one directly into the five and then at least enough speed to move the four and the eight over Oh, it won't. Oh. What were we worrying about? It well, actually, this is this is so much better as well because the four-five combo is a hanger. If he can get to the left side of the three, get the rack is wide open. We could be going to a deciding set here. Maybe Tim. Yeah, he wasn't trying to bump the seven. I think he might be just okay to cut it. And even if he doesn't want to slow roll it, he could run softly into the seven. So speed-wise and finishing his stroke, everything, he should be fine. It's just yeah, he's trying to get that cue ball in perfect spots. Yeah, he used all the pocket there. We run into the eight here. The four will be onto the top left after this shot, I would imagine. Yeah, just depending on how thin he's going to hit the eight. Yeah, four on the top left, good call. Just routine this, most of all. He likes those firm stun shots in general. Plays with a lot of confidence too, like he doesn't really play the sensitive ones, he just finishes his stroke many times. I really do like his game. We've got a match on here, guys. In case you didn't already know, we're at one set all. So we're gonna go for a little break ready for the deciding set and remember if it doesn't if no one wins it by four it will go to a shootout at 3-3 three, three. see you soon
doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This temple to win the title. He is your champion. to lovely San Juan here in Puerto Rico. We're playing the Medea Light Puerto Rico men's 10 ball open. Nicely poised at one set each. This is the deciding set. And if it goes to 3-3, we will have a shootout. You might have already heard Shane Van Boning went out on a shootout just a few minutes ago, which meant he doesn't play Josh Phillip, but Jao Grillo does. That's over on table two if you'd like to check that out and also Aloysia Schapp has been beaten he is out also again Ho Yun Kwon has beaten Alex Pegulayan yeah, in the shootout shootout very impressive going to be a long night referee head referee John Lehman he's not also he's not only a referee he's also a bit of an actor I think he's been in that series billions I'm pretty sure he's been in that one Looking at me like that, he has been. He has. He's been in a few things, apparently. Yeah, I've been on Crime Watch. So, Alois is up, and Jovan and Bustamante are in a shootout as well. Where are they? One each in set, and scores now 4 3, it says. Big match. Sorry, Aloysius, I had him out already. Yeah, we actually, because this, the third set looked to be pretty over, right? Yeah. It just shows it's never over until it's over. Talking of third sets, another one is coming up right now. And because Francisco Sanchez Ruiz broke in the first set, he'll also break in the third set. If it does go to a shootout, he'll also get the choice of whether he wants to go first or second in the shootout. Anyway, we're way away from that yet. Been breaking well. Can you make it? Yes, he can. Oh, and the temple. It won't count, of course. It will come back out. It's well, he'll take it. He'll take this all day long, really. Made the one straight in the side. Ten is going to spot back up, but he's perfect on the two. If he can get straight from the two to the three in the side, then he can cross over from the four to the five. The six goes in the side. Don't see too many hiccups, just the first shot basically for me. Francisco still got his team shirt on, look, of course, because he finished that earlier on and didn't have time to go and change. Tim and I are in the same shirts. We haven't had time to go and change today. Every team. Yeah, I'm wearing my team shirt too. 
<laughs> Team commentators. Nice, nice shot. They yeah, had to make something happen there. He knew he was most likely not going to get straight on the three from that two ball, but nice recovery shot. Now he's probably going to go to the other long rail, get along the rail and cut the six in to go to the seven. It's really depends in general like if you have the perfect angle you can cut the six in the side and draw out for the seven sometimes you get I'm very close to that almost touched it it made me lose my words almost now i was going to say sometimes you end up with the perfect angle to shoot the six in the corner you can just float the cue ball then they pick this one so really depends on how you get on the six now draw This is absolutely perfect, isn't it? Yeah, perfect angle to cross over one rail. It's probably just going to land softly on the second rail, but it should always be fine. Francisco recently had kidney stones, I seem to remember. Missed a couple of tournaments because of it, and he missed the last tournament also because he was in hospital having a bit of surgery. Yeah. Yeah, he's been struggling the last couple of months. Not with his game as well, like his results were still steady and maybe not feeling the best, but still showing he's right up the alley. It's just that, yeah, the traveling, you know, it, it especially traveling, eating outdoors. And, you know, people, they expect you to always, I mean, not happy, but, you know, like they're excited to see you. And then he's probably feeling like, man, I just want to be in bed. <laughs> like... Which I understand too. I wonder how many autographs he signed in the last year. <laughs> really tough to keep count. Came up a little short here on the nine. So he's going to play this to the corner and get the cue ball around. Could go five rails around the table. Could also shoot the nine in the side and draw the cue ball. Bustamonte still going in there, shootout. It's 5 4 at the moment to Joven. Just gone 5 5. Some strong shootouts, Tim. And this is almost like a shootout shot, isn't it? Yeah, he knew ju just make the nine with a little draw and take a longer 10. First block for Fran. If he makes it then. I think somebody no, he's though. missed it. And he has left a long 10 ball. Yeah, I heard something drop in the background. I hope he wasn't too distracted by it. I mean, obviously that's gonna happen, but the timing always, you know, could be very annoying. Yeah, long 10 ball. It's going to play pocket speed, medium speed. So if he hits it too thick, it's still going to slide in. Ooh, oh, he's hung it. He did play to the long route. He just had a little bit too much pace, Tim. Did he move? No, he didn't really move his body at all. Not until after the shot. Just, yeah, just wondering. I, at first, I thought it may be a really small skid, but big turn of events here lots more action coming up for you tomorrow of course we're back at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning with the men's quarterfinals teams also will return tomorrow the women's matches also will continue tomorrow from 10 a.m. also a losers round two for you in the women's side 
So plenty more pull to come in the Predator Pro Billiard Series here. And what a break. What a break again from Sanchez Ruiz here. Nine ball flying in the corner. That's that's the thing. He's been breaking them so square with so much energy that the balls are just flying around. It's like a pinball machine almost. He's had easier starters than this. Wouldn't be too surprised if he plays defense on this. There is a cut and he can spin the cue ball into the four. But he's queuing over the 10, playing with that spin. It's going to mess away from the one. So that's really has to judge the spin. Yeah, I, I understand why he has played this shot. And he's Perfect. played it great. Very nicely done. Fedor Gors going well. Won the first set against Carlo Biardo. And he's on the hill in the second. So looking good there. Fedor Gors for a place. In the last eight. Carlo Biardo, the defending champion, on the brink of going out. Did he call it? No. It looks like he did not. Perhaps his chalk and leaves the table, so. They normally do call them, don't they, Tennis? One you would normally call, right? Yeah, it's just that the one ball could, there was three open pockets and <laughs> you have to pick one based on the side you usually hit the ball. Oh, he's missed the open two ball. Seems to hit that quite hard. Game also quite thick, like really thick. Maybe he's getting tired. A little lucky not to leave something on the two. I don't think Chang can cut the two. Can he thin off it, Tim? I think he has to. I don't see anything else. For a second, I was thinking I was going to play the double kiss with draw and bring the cue ball out, but I think he has to thin it. Or is he going to send the two ball, two rails, and get the cue ball into the seven? Nice control. I just feel he was never going to get the guaranteed hook if he thinned the two ball. It was easier to get balls in between, but maybe he was scared to get the two ball off the short rail. Oh, Sanchez called the two. He's going for this. Cue ball for side rail in between the six and the rail. Heading up towards that three. Just has to keep the head very, very still on this shot. Yeah, missed it on the pro side. Knew what he had to do to hang in this rack. Yep, he's now 7-6 up in his shootout against Jovan Bustamante. We've had some really big scores, Tim, today on the, the shootout. Yeah, I mentioned this yesterday as well, is that the average shootout is starting to last six, seven shots. People are probably going to put more time in it because it's worth it. The prize money is good. Big events, a lot of fans as well. So it's worth it to show yourself well on these kind of big tournaments. And before, maybe they took the shootout for granted. Oh, and too far on the three. I feel Sanchez is a little lost at the moment. Running out of position a couple times. He's missed the two ball. Now he's ran to the wrong side of the three. Just 
wondering, can he run the cue ball three wheels around, around the seven, around the ten, and around the six? Well, a bank on. Don't expect him to go that aggressive. The good thing about the bank is he's really close to the four. The closer you get to the bank, the more accurate you can play it. But th with the six and the eight, it's pretty nice wall. I think there might just be a gap, though, as is often the case. There seems to be a gap, doesn't he? I think he has got the edge of this, Tim. I expect him to play a similar shot like FSR just played. Or is he going to bank the four ball straight down, leave distance? Oh. It's a big, big mistake from Cheng Yunlin. He's definitely trying to get the four along the long rail with the five. He's lifted right in front of the side pocket. It's a real tasty matchup in the women's event tomorrow at 10 a.m. Jessica Centino up against Margaret Fefilova. That will be an interesting one. Two contrasting styles there, Tim. Yeah, and the lose around two. A little bit more angle on the six and he wanted two is gonna elevate a little bit more. Nice recovery shot. Perfect angle on the seven to stun over for the eight in the side. It's also a skill some pool players they never practice is jacking up the cue with the cue ball being stuck to the rail. He's missed, He's missed the seven. Can Am I dreaming? It was a white Christmas, maybe. I am. I don't know what's going on, but. That safety shot from Chang just earlier, then now the miss from the seven from Francisco. Chang's gonna be cutting the seven behind the ten, bringing the cue ball back up table. Two rails. Would love to get it co covered up, but also didn't get the cover. Both players just wobbling a little bit at the moment. Maybe nerves of the Deciding rack to set, sorry. Yeah, he's called a bank. I, I don't really see any other safeties as well. If he misses the bank on the thick side with good speed, it could leave a very difficult shot. But I'm pretty sure he was going for it to make it. Now a real chance for Chang to level things up in the decider. Eight women already through to the last 16. Rubelin Armit, Wei Chu Chen, Amber Chen, Sao Sao, Kelly Fisher, Alison Fisher, Christina to catch. And the young Poles having a great tournament. Olivia Zaluska, who sent Jasmine Ocean to the one loss side today. A good win for her. So this 10 ball for Chang to level things up. There it goes. Do you fancy a couple more questions, Tim? Always. I love him. Here's the clue. He's a little guy from Asia, but they call him the Slayer. Levan Corteza. Correct. The inaugural winner of the US Open back in 1976. I was alive, I was 14 then. The first ever winner 
of the US Open. Who was it? I'll give you a clue. He's been doing some commentating just recently. Mike Siegel? Mike Siegel, exactly. Back to the action. I've got a couple more for you a little bit later. I know you're enjoying it. Just looking at your face, I can see how much you're enjoying them. I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Big break coming up again. Six on the point, two ball on the point, eight ball moving. Also doesn't go, and look what he's given Sanchez, another good starter. Yeah, and the one and the two, you, well, that's exactly the two balls you want in a combo together, isn't it, at the start of a rack? I was looking at it like he has to cut the two ball a little bit more. I was thinking the two would be in front of the side. If he has to cut the two ball a little bit more, then he's going to lose the one. Still have to try, even though the one is going to move off the rail. You just try it, and if you don't get something nice on the one, you play the safe. Sometimes it just ends up being really good, and you still get out. Yeah, keep control of the table. like it's pretty straight on obviously not though because he would have played it by now if it was oh, that's worked out absolutely fine it got perfect and also if you look at the angle he's got on the one so easy to just float over for the three to get to the short side push the four ball a little lower so we'll have to play a combination on the four the four seven or play to the short side of the four that's why he chose to play the three in the side pocket and not the corner pocket Confirmation, Fedor Gorst has beaten and knocked out Carlo Biardo by two straight sets. Yeah, our defending champion is out. Josh Filler has taken the first set against Jao Grillo, who beat Shane Van Boning earlier on. And yet did indeed win that shootout. He's now gone straight back on again against Khalid Al Gandhi. So it's back to the day job for Jovan Bustamante. Lovely fella. Really is a nice guy. Yeah, it's tough not to root for him at times. It's always been so good to everyone. He'll be back. Another good result here. center of the table for the nine just got to make sure you have plenty of angle on the nine you just don't want to end up straight could get awkward straight and on the rail stuff like that don't really want to get there at the end of the rack chose to play the top side of the nine perfect natural angle to go two rails twice the long rail the 10 in takes the lead again and he'd love to get to three because well then you're guaranteed a shootout at the very least but he doesn't want anything to do with a shootout this time of night he'd love to win this one 4-1 and get himself to bed I'm back here for tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Well, that last wreck where we missed the seven ball, I think it was a great wake-up call for him. Chang had a dry break and 
strong run out from Sanchez. It was a couple tough positional shots to be played. All the quarterfinals will be on the TV tables tomorrow. Two quarterfinals and then the remaining two quarterfinals on tables one and two. So all free to watch on YouTube at 10 and 11 a.m. those matches. Semi-finals at 2 p.m. Final at 5. Busy day again tomorrow, Tim. Yeah, it looks like Sanchez is going to return the favour. Hasn't made a ball on the break. Look at this spread. All the balls went to the same side of the table. Yes, Chang's having a little laugh about that one, look. First emotion we've seen from him during this match. He's just checking how much can you see from the one. If he has to mess around the eight, it's not really worth it. Unless he jumps it. If he jumps it, he could really get the cue ball out. I just feel if he plays that little messe, the cue ball is going to be staying behind the 6 9. Oh, he's caught the 6 first. It's a foul. And he's opened up the 6 as oh, well. Oh, he's but tied the 5 up. What a turn of events. <laughs> looking at shooting the two of the four by doing that shooting the four into the five seven eight and blast all the balls open no he's going for two ten combo no oh, he's making up he he doesn't know what he was wanting to do for a second it looked like he was going to go two ten combo and now he's going back to original plan I like to shoot the two of the four, hopefully blast something open. It's that, or play the stop shot on the two, and then use the four how it is to open up the five. But he will have to wait till the last possible moment to open up the five, and that's risky. I feel coming in behind the five and the seven might be the plan here, Tim. We only have one Filipino left in the tournament, Roland Garcia. But he's taken the first set against Mikhail Orgard. Yeah, oh, took a big risk. Cable. Took a big risk. And, you know, this actually might not be too bad. He might be able to jump and shoot the five of the nine in the corner might be unmissable almost. Just that the seven is blocking the six, so we'll still have to get something on the... Or is he still... Can he still get there with the cue ball? No, he played the save. He's left it in, is he? Oh, definitely left a good look on the five and might have opened the pocket for the six as well. It's really close. For sure, Karam on the seven if he makes the five. But he'll be waiting. He'll be trying to thin the five just like Francisco did. There's still plenty of ball left in this rack. It's a good shot. And now it's just a matter of how much can he, like how far can he get on that long rail, like kicking from 
the back of the five. Call it in the bottom right corner, the five ball. Grimmin and played one of these earlier on and made it. Yeah, hit it just a hair too thick. You, if you look at the five, it was too speedy. That's why it was too thick. But also at the cue ball, lost all the speed to the five ball. Otherwise, he had a pretty good chance to get behind the six. How does he get to the six? Well, I think there might be a six, seven... Karam, Karam on the seven. Yes, because just having a look at actually, Tim. Just don't think it goes around center table would be decent. Maybe a little short. Of course, you can make the Karam from almost any angle. It's just that one angle is more natural than the other one. And easier to control the six ball, of course, as well. Yeah. He can play it slow, so he's not sending the six ball into no man's land kind of thing. Yeah, from this top view, it looked like he might have to put a little bit more pace on the cue ball. To stun a bit more of the six. Would love to hit it a little bit thicker maybe and soft. Oh. Six took off a little bit there. Still a little bit to do to level things up again. This for a place in tomorrow's quarter-final. Gonna draw his way out of the scratch. A hair of left, not too much left. did end up on the wrong side of the eight might be just okay to draw the cue ball to the center of the table and be all right that's what he was just checking oh, here's a juicy prospect for tomorrow Fedor Gorst plays the winner of Josh Filler and Joao Grillo and at the moment Filler in control of that one he's a set and two racks up in the second set also so Gorst against Filler looking a distinct possibility, and that will be live tomorrow at 11 a.m. local time here in Puerto Rico. Yeah, looks to be two each. And Francisco had two games in a row. He had the chance to run out, but didn't. And it goes. Can't separate them, Tim. 4-1 to Sanchez Ruiz in the first set. 4-1 to Chang Jun Lin in the second. And we're 2-2 in the third. Still going on also. I believe the teams start tomorrow in the CSI Caribbean State Championships. So this place will be absolutely buzzing tomorrow. There's over 650 league players here from all over the states. Playing on 38 tables. This room, I like the way the room is this year. It's completely split down the, the middle, long ways. So you've got all the league players over one side and all the pros over another. Intermingling with each other. People grabbing selfies and autographs. I even signed an autograph today, Tim. It's very interesting, he's changing the break, going more to the inside. Well, the six was going straight to the pocket, but got kissed. The nine almost found the pocket and just barely didn't go in. So we'll take a seat. Hopefully we'll be getting out of it again soon, but he will, because Francisco only has the thinnest of edges. On this one ball. Yeah, and I'm also wondering what where you're gonna go with the cue ball if you thin the one. Looks like you're gonna be going towards the six or maybe the scratch. How much of this one ball can he hit? I 
I think it's very thin. That's why it's looking at the push out. At least put the cue ball up far. The one doesn't go in the top right corner. That's why it was looking at the short rail. I feel he will have to take this. It's like a half ball hit, bring the cue ball two rails behind the three. Could even play the one near the five on the long rail. But the, be the closer the cue ball gets to the three, the stronger this shot gets. That was table two in the background. This very nicely, Tim. Oh, and easy to run out. He didn't get the full hook, and I feel he's not gonna like what is coming after. Could bang the one ball, two rails to the top short rail. Could also nick the right side of the one and bring the cue ball back all the way behind the three. there on the hill to set up a thriller tomorrow with Fedor Gorst. I'd love to see that one. No disrespect to Zhao, of course, but that's a nice kick and stick. I'm not sure he's going to get any cover, but he's got the one ball safe. Could be in trouble himself here, though. Yeah, he's not happy. For sure there's going to be a gap. It might be just enough to and glue the cue ball to the three again. There's a guy there with his cue, but he wants to jump on and have a go. Just after 20 minutes past midnight here. found a gap there look at this for a shot Tim absolutely brilliant guided that cue ball amazing and Josh Villa has beaten Zhao Grillo maybe it was just too much after that huge effort Grillo had against Shane Van Boney to beat him in that shootout by 11 shots to 10 I think it was he will now play Fedor Gorst tomorrow on the TV, one of the TV tables at 11 a.m. That's to look forward to. Oh, is he gonna get the jump cue? Is he gonna jump over the 10? It's called the one in the side pocket. Is he gonna jump? I don't know what he's gonna play here. Going over the nine, kicking two rails from the back. One could be going over the three in the side or directly. Wow, jump. Wow. What a shot. Hit that and is. look what at a this shot that cover. Is. Wow, that is such a great shot. Go one rail quite firm, get some distance. Pretty decent hit. Oh, great shot again. Nice shot from Chang Yulin. Catching the ball half. Two great kick shots in a row. Or one jump kick. Now Chang with a great kick.
started way after us. The Joshua Giaguillo match. And they're finished. They're all off. Hit it great. The bump on the seven could have been a little bit better as FSR is for sure going to bank the one ball down and get the cue ball two rails behind the three. But on the other side, that's what I mentioned earlier. It's just sometimes you get the opportunity, opportunity to really lock someone up and the other time you just hang in there. Oh, caught it thick. Caught it very thick. That is not a good shot. For Francisco, I mean, he had a clear path to that. Hand on the table. Just hit it all wrong. Yeah, it's getting a little bit late here. Obviously, those are the last matches for today. And fatigue is getting in the system. Now, yeah, he is taking the first set. It's Dennis Grabe, but Dennis is coming back. He's 2-0 up in the second set, and he'll grind it out as well. Grinder Grabe. Yeah, it's also a great skill to have. You know, most of the players, they know how to play well under the perfect circumstances, but what if you, you know, get tired, long days, no food, uh, bad sleep? It's really difficult. It's not really a skill everybody has. I was only chat with Darren Appleton earlier, and he was saying to me he thinks this is the toughest sport there is. You never know exactly when you're going to be playing, or how long you're going to be playing for. You know, if you're a footballer, for example, or a hockey player, basketball player, you know you're playing at that time, on that day, for that amount of time, and you're done. Some sports, I suppose golf is a bit like that as well. Yeah, you definitely need some stamina in this this sport. Low right. Perfect speed. Perfect speed to get on the five. If he gets to the long rail, it's a really annoying shot if he gets too short you know he has to cut the five is also not great this is stunning the cue ball just up a little bit for the six in the side looks like Chang is going to be the first one on the hill if he solves getting on the eight it's the main thing has to still play a decent angle on the seven to drop down for the eight in the bottom right corner to the short rail wondering is he looking to go two rails long rail just next to the side pocket and then the short rail for the eight in the left side or the top left corner was he still going to the left side of the eight one rail Musician has taken the first set against Japanese Ayato Hijikata. Perfect shot on the seven from Chang. Brilliant run out, and he's going to be guaranteeing himself to go at least to a shootout. There it is, 3-2, Chang Yun Lin. Sanchez in a little bit of trouble. Just wondering, is it maybe 
the stamina not there yet. Of course, everybody knows he's been having a little bit of health issues, so wouldn't be surprised if that took a toll on his health. I'm sure he'll be better. A very important break for Chang. The only thing this young man can do. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz is waiting in his chair for his next opportunity. Perfect square hit, make the one in the side, the six, the three, and the eight. Did he get something on the two? What a break from Chang Yun Lin. The one goes straight in the side, the six goes straight in the corner, the three in the top left corner, and the eight in the bottom right corner. What a break. Very unfortunate to not have something decent after such a great break he's got the jump cue he's going very aggressive here he says you know it's either i'm gonna get to a shootout swinging or i'm winning this set If he makes it two, he's guaranteed to be on the four. Oh, he hasn't made it. And what is he giving FSR? He has given FSR opportunity. I think the two ball goes. Might be queuing over the seven, but I think it goes. from Cheng Lin making four balls on the break and not getting something on the two. Took the risk, jumped the two ball, didn't make it, and yeah, it's an awkward shot for FSR. Is he gonna just play safe over cut the two or is he just wanting to? Yeah, he was really trying to get on the four and I think he's fully hooked himself. He's grabbing his shoulder a little bit earlier on and he was just gesticulating then that maybe a little bit of stiffness we keep saying it but it's been a long day for these players started out at 10 a.m. this morning it's now half past midnight good shot there I think he's got at least a hook Cheng might be able to still yeah, crawl underneath. Called the four ball on the side. Maybe a little messe. It's going to give maximum spin to the cue ball. Oh, it's close. Gonna make it. Is he gonna get the cover behind the tent? Is he gonna get the cover? I think he has. I don't think there is a thinner on the four. One thing that's very risky is there might be a kick on the four and make the ten in the corner or the ten in the side. No. It's nothing aggressive to play at this. A 
of the four on the side. Yes, the only thing, kick from the bottom. Shoot the four and off the ten in the side. Just caught it really thin. How is the cue ball ending up? Oh, little bump. And the ten. Yeah, that's not it. That is just not it for Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. Perfect opportunity for Chang Yun Lin to seal the deal here. Could kill the cue ball or go three rails around. I think I would spin the cue ball soft. Yeah. Chang Jun Lin. What a player. What a fighter. What a grinder. What a battler. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz still in the teams, though, of course, with David Alcady and Mighty Repairo. Those matches tomorrow also. Two shots away. Can't see him missing from here, Tim. Well, he dropped down really fast on this nine. Looking very confident. This is for a spot in the quarterfinals. Yeah, and those times have been changed. The quarterfinals will be at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Congratulations to Chang Jung Ling. It's adios to Francisco Sanchez Ruiz winning in three sets. Just a look at the final ten once again. Thank you so much to Tim De Reuter. Thanks everyone for watching. It's been a great day and there's more to come tomorrow. We go all the way down to the finals tomorrow. We'll see you then. Ta-ta. Doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This temple to win the title. He is your champion. You will champion. Champions.